There he is. Oh. Oh, oh shit. not a no. good idea. Oh, I died. <laughs> you literally hit. I didn't mean to. I was aiming. I, I thought I was hitting his leg. Well, that leg. was smart. Go ahead. Blow up. Blow the, up. These are RNG. When you've it's had, happened so you've much. Had so many. So this subreddit's gonna make some people mad. Probably you, Nick, because I think you got mad at a couple of the ones and some of the previous ones. So, Found Satan is literally... It's not too hard to make me annoyed at things. Well, I don't really get mad at a lot of things. I get mad at exceptionally stupid people. Especially when they're being exceptionally stupid about exceptionally serious issues. Fair but enough. I more or less just get mildly annoyed at a lot of things pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, I get that. But... Needless to say, uh, it has been quite the uh, you know quite the experience watching some of these found Satan subreddit uh, compilations because you find out just how truly twisted some people are. And uh, Micah, for instance, imagine if someone uh, instead of you know you have your coffee in the morning and you do you put creamer in it? You know, yeah. At all? Okay. So, imagine, if you will, someone replaced your creamer with, uh, with, uh, like, flavored X-Lax. Sir. Yes. Well, that's... I would, I would say they'd be catching these hands, but these hands are going to be wiping my booty on the toilet because <laughs> it's X-Lax in my coffee, so... Yes, and... And the thing with the, uh, the thing about that is, I don't know if I would actually ever know that someone had done that to me, unless they admitted it. Because I have so many stomach problems already, yeah. I would just be like, "Dude, like I don't know what happened, but like it's I like, caught a bug huh, or something." It's pretty smooth today. All right. <laughs> that it could be that too. Just like I coming have, out, just high fiving everybody. It's like, wait a minute. Like, well, stomach be, has felt great today. This is supposed like, to be a it's prank. Weird. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like it actually just medicated me for problems I already have. It's just like, like, wow, I feel great today, man. It's like, it's like, what? It's like, hey, that's great. Behind his back, it's like, what the hell? It's like now, as we speak, people are like forming prayer circles for Nick's <laughs> Nick's bowels. Like, yeah, <laughs> what is happening to that poor man? Yeah, it's, just like, uh, it's mainly I don't drink enough water and I don't eat a properly balanced diet often enough. I mean, that I, I think. That I, th I previously you. thought it was either irritable bowel syndrome or lactose intolerance. And now I'm starting to think that, to be honest, I think I just eat too much cheese and don't drink enough water. So, so I can actually hear the prayer right now. It's like, it's like, and now we give blessing unto the bowels of one Nicholas Owen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, grant this man relief from his IBS. But it's not IBS, it's just... I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, so, Found Satan, uh, you'll see what this is all about. It's some truly, like, deviously evil people. And, uh, it's, it's mostly done in good fun, but... I'll let, I'll let all of y'all be the judge of it. Anyway, here we go. Hey guys, what's the difference between M&M's, Skittles, and Reese's Pieces? The answer is nothing. And that's the problem! It's like every scoop is a slice of life. A taste of what you were looking for, but also mostly dread. Don't you dare zoom into the Skittles as I say that, editor. Skittles are the best one. Don't you start making a comment down below about how much you hate Skittles compared to the other ones. I will fight you. I will shove an Atelier Tomato Sauce sandwich down your throat. One. I got the hot dog butter ice cubes on standby. Uh. And everyone else will think uh. they're just normal uh. ice cubes. Except for me. It's a little too quiet at Ikea, if you ask me. Oh, so no. <laughs> stam. Back. I'll do it. I don't give a stam. Don't you set them. We can't do them if you set them. <laughs> click, click, click. Open fire. Open fire. What's wrong here? A book of the fuck of The calmer you are, the easier it is to find the mistake. Good luck for finding it. But try... Is that, is, was there a, uh, 
Not sure if that's like white out over the like. No, someone... it's not. It's it's fine. It's finid. Ah. I was concentrating up here. I yeah. didn't even. Yeah, I was think about to go back down, down to the it's bottom because I was like, "There's switch. nothing wrong with the alphabet." Yeah. Well, There's I nothing thought, wrong with what's I, wrong. I thought so. someone made a mistake here and like whited out over it because the white dot there. But eh, well, and then finid. Trust me, it's very tricky to finite. This cover <laughs> charge that was billed on every item ordered and was not listed on the menu, website, or entrance. Okay, what's the hell? Yeah, this is bullshit. I've already seen this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this Turkish cuisine place in Scarborough, Canada, Ontario, Canada, charges you a $15 cover charge. It's not on the menu. It's not on the restaurant. It's not mentioned anywhere. But they charge you a $15 cover charge, and they hope that you don't notice. That's not very Canadian. <laughs> oh, I would notice, and as soon as I noticed it, I would be like, yeah, I'm not paying for this. Let's go. Just be like, okay, I want my bill to be... Forty-two eighteen because I'm not paying that fifteen dollar cover charge. Well, is even the, the cover, cover charge was to get into the, the building, sir. Oh, oh, and even look here. They expect you to give fifteen percent gratuity on top of the cover charge. No, screw you. Cover charge protected it from flies because we put a lid on the food. <laughs> My brother just emailed this to my whole school. School isn't canceled. <clears throat> school is canceled tomorrow! Hey everyone, just wanted to spread the word. No school! I genuinely hope this brother doesn't get punished because anyone who would actually adhere to this is an idiot. And if anything, just exposes how stupid they are more than a test ever could. This kid isn't causing a nuisance. He's just doing an old fashioned culling of the herd. <laughs> Damn, with this keyboard. You can't tell, can you? But something, something. Mm, now that I wouldn't be able to. Wait. Like I can type, but I couldn't mm. tell you how they're laid out. Ah, I see it. These two are, these two are swift. Oh, Eminem or Swift. Yeah. Oh, that would annoy the hell out of me. Makes you uncomfortable. It was me! I swapped the M and M. Ah, they yeah. tell. My yeah. partner wrongly thinks I've never seen Lord of the Rings, so he wants a marathon of all the extended editions. What can I say to wind him up during it? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Why don't they just take the eagles to Mordor? Ah! Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's one thing, yeah. Yeah. Also, it's just... Also, hmm. Like, I don't understand, like, how hard the journey can be. It's just a simple walk into Mordor. And then all of a sudden, cut to... Sean B's like, I want to just simply walk into Mordor. There's always the misnaming, uh the author or something you know like yeah or it's like this is really good jk rowling has always written really good stuff or something <laughs> <laughs> just be like excuse me <laughs> that's what i just be like door <laughs> yeah for, for me i think another one would be it's just like i was like actually i've read the books and i cannot wait to see how they interpret tom bombadil oh wait that's right Okay, this is brilliant. This is the perfect combatant towards that uh, mansplaining behavior a lot of guys expose. From a Redditor. Of course it's from a Redditor. Say, is this a spin-off from those Hobbit movies? Oh. This can cause absolute internal turmoil. <laughs> Especially if you argue that it is because the Hobbit book came first and is set chronologically before it. Oh god. Oh god, that's genuinely my opinion though. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> That's one way to learn that that is wrong. Refer to Lord of the Rings as the sequel trilogy and compare it to the Star Wars sequels. <laughs> if you do go down this route, I recommend having at least one pet photo in your Tinder profile. It gets you a lot more matches. One time, my parents were gone for the weekend, so I took everything in the house and moved it five inches to the left. It was subtle enough that it wasn't obvious, but they felt like something was off when they got back. And they kept bumping into the corners of tables and couches. 
I am a cruel man, and yes, now you are from Chaotic Mutual Incarnate. I learn from the mistakes of the people who take my advice. Without objective morality, everything is permissible. Ugh, you know who eats like this? <gasps> people who don't like Skittles. Fight me! I have the best April Fool. I go to work with a box filled with normal cookies that I made myself, and I write, Happy April 1st, on a note. I'll see everyone getting paranoid of what I <laughs> did to the cookies. <laughs> and I'll be able to bring the cookies back since no one would dare to eat one. That's especially good if you can add some sort of like weird food coloring to them. Just subtle enough where it doesn't look like obvious food dye, but make it like a like subtle off green, like it's spoiled or something like that. <laughs> I'd probably still go for it. Hmm, fair enough. I mean if it did smell weird, I'd be like, so enough to think that's not a normal cookie. As a teacher, you're sometimes privileged to witness life moments. I saw a girl approach a boy to ask if he wanted her number. He paused, then pulled out his phone. Utter joy on the girl's face. I then confiscated the phone as it's against the rules to have it out in the corridor. Oh, wow. Oh, you dick. Why? Vicky just ordered spike strips so people will stop using her circular driveway to turn around. I hate to be this person, oh. but I'm pretty tired of people using my circular drive as a pull-through turnaround. So much so that I posted a sign at the end of my driveway. Apparently, that isn't enough. That said, I just put two of these in my Amazon cart. They will be here Monday. Things will work out the way they work out. I know Maybe exactly how things are going to work out. I know exactly how things are going to work out. You're going to forget that they're there one day and you're going to get yourself. <laughs> you're going to run over them. <laughs> Imagine that, just like driving out of a driveway. It's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot something. Pulls back in the circular driveway the opposite way. <laughs> That's what you forgot. <laughs> Honey, you're not going to believe what happened. Yes, yes, like, I did. I absolutely believe what happened because I told you we're gonna have one of your bunch of fucking things. Like, I should have lit. Actually, no, that's not realistic. I, I was about to say, like, and then she would say, I should have listened to you. She would never say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I have, I've been, uh, I, I've, I've actually, I don't think I've ever heard my mom say that to either my dad or my stepdad or me. Even when I was like a hundred percent right. Damn. Said she would only accept an official Apple mouse, so I dug this out of storage and left it on her desk. Oh, please let me. Yes. Nice. Malicious compliance. Identifying paranoid schizophrenics and DMing them random number sequences every fifteen minutes. It's 2023 now. Everything's artificially grown. That's, That's messed right. up. Even serial killers. I just go to parties to frick with the appliances while the host is distracted. <laughs> I like to break dishwashers the most. Copy that. Never invite anyone named Rodney. Wow. Okay, I can understand if you like switch the glasses around or you know like move the blender to where the toaster is or something like that. You know, just like a little bit of like. Kitchen that's, musical chairs. That's pretty messed up. You would just go to somebody's place where they're hosting and, and just break like, a trash their stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's messed up, dude. Oh Jesus Christ! That wow. Okay. Hello, great. I'm not reading text. that. Buckle up, buckaroos. I want to learn this version of the song so well that I can sing it flawlessly and with complete and utter confidence. Then I'll go to a karaoke bar, but not just any karaoke bar. I'll find the one with the largest number of the most drunk people in the city. Then I'll sing this version of the song. Those who aren't as drunk will start to suspect they drink more than they thought. Those who are drunk will either think it's a beautiful rendition of the normal song or just be more lost than they have ever felt in their entire existence. And those who are sober, the designated drivers, they will find themselves rather puzzled. They would have thought such words, such an off version of the song could only come from someone completely and utterly hammered. But I shall sing it perfectly. Perfect enunciation. Perfect pitch. And as they stare in the sheer and utter confusion, perhaps a couple of the more drunk people sing along a little, getting the original words mixed up by my influence. The sober people will start to second guess themselves. 
Did they accidentally get my drink wrong and put alcohol in it? Have I been drugged? Am I just horribly misremembering the lyrics? But he hasn't stumbled over his words at all. He's singing with complete confidence. It sounds so wrong, but why would someone sing it unintentionally on purpose? And they might even start to question if maybe, just maybe, these have been the lyrics the whole time. I know you remember them differently, Dave, but this is all the lyrics have ever been. And when the song has finished and the cheers rise up from the crowd, some more confused than others, I will take my encore. Live in la vida loca. One time. So I wish they had said what song they were talking about. Yeah, that's one thing I. I, I... That was hard to get through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I mean, anything that's like, uh, anything that's like that that doesn't have a damn good payoff at the end, I'm just like, skip. You know. Someone Should've mistakenly texted me. Yeah. It's done. So I just texted back, excellent. Show me his head and you'll get your payment. <laughs> the person was freaked out and sent back, I think I got the wrong number. Please don't hurt me. And now <laughs> he rests off to record. See, that's great. Career. Peter Cullen, 1941 to now. He's still alive. It gets worse the longer you look. What have you do you mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Jasmine's oh. arm. It really does. Oh. oh my god. Oh, the foot. Oh, the b arm. Oh, another arm. Oh, what? and the foot. Oh god. The response. teacup has a body. Yeah. yeah. Bell's like tiny, tiny lower torso on a stool. Oh. Oh gosh, this is horrible. Uh, just a bunch of normal, gorgeous-looking ladies. Mrs. Teapot clearly needing to put a top on. Jesus, woman, come on, this is a Disney Channel. Agree. <laughs> 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 to Princess Belle's dumpy, chunky, bumpy booty. <laughs> The impossible puzzle like for when up. you've just given up on any sort of fun in your life and you just want to, you know, yeah, you don't want to end things, but you still want to suffer. I'm the know? weird kind of psycho that kind of kind of wants that. I just and like puzzles I would leave a the lot. In the toilet. <laughs> I like puzzles and challenges. Oh, you evil bitch! That's fucked up. What? <laughs> And then, after consistently doing this for months, you'll stop leaving the plunger in there, and they'll still habitually reach their hand down, thinking that maybe something's there. Oh, toilet water. Someone please call Or even place. worse, you take Let's a shit and game. don't flush. Uh-oh, stinky. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poopies. Poopies. They really used to call us out of class for a big assembly to jazz us up to sell overpriced stuff so the school could get a cut. Wait, what? We were kids, man. What the actual heck was that? This is never a thing in Australia. What? And yeah, I was poor as hell. It's called fundraisers. No one I knew was buying that stuff, so mm -hmm. I just ended up feeling like I was failing my class. Hang on. Okay. Well, let me let me catch up with you here. Your school, your place of safety and residence and educating you for the world, lured you into a pyramid scheme where they utilized you feeling like you would like what group think where you'd feel ashamed and not part of the pack if you weren't selling as well as everyone else so they could get more money. Wow. Although they Please offered rewards to everyone. It's like, the person who sells the most will get a pizza party for their class at the end of the year. And stuff like that. Yeah, and the pizza was stale, often, like, lukewarm, and, uh... Oh, yeah. you actually got one? Yeah. Yeah, no. Like, we fucking never won shit with those. Well, it wasn't... Okay, well, it wasn't for a contest like that. Instead, we won field day. Like, my class won field day. And no, at the fundraisers, it was always like, the the grand prize will actually be a brand new Super Nintendo system that'll go to one person who sells stuff. Never met one kid who ever got a hold of one of those. I don't know. It's like, that. I, I swear they just lied to all the kids just to move product. The priest who temporarily died reveals that he went to hell. And they were playing Rihanna's Umbrella as torture. He died reveals he went I to hell believe that. and they were playing Rihanna's Umbrella as torture. Snitch. Real question is why is a priest ending up in hell? <laughs> That's a good when question. You write a letter to Satan instead of Santa, asking for a puppy. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I can hug them at the same time. 
What I a just good boy. Yeah. What? If you fill a room with 20 people who all have social anxiety, that would be pure evil. <laughs> and I can just see America turning this into some sort of Big Brother esque reality show. It's like that idea of getting oh 20 guys into God. a house and one of them's gay, and the task is to find out who's the gay person before the end of the show. But the twist is that no, no one's gay. gay. Well, the weird thing gay. is, is like when you're around other people who have social anxiety you automatically have something to sort of identify with with them yes and it's gonna get awkward again pretty quick but at least you're gonna be in a room with 20 people and you're all gonna be like twiddling your thumbs and stuff and it's gonna be really quiet for a while but at some point somebody's probably gonna be like so why are you all here <laughs> and if they're like ah, oh, they told us we were supposed to come here and wait and wait for what I don't know. They didn't tell us. So, hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Have fun over analyzing each other, boys. Decisions in a world where fries don't exist. What are you putting this on? Baked Nothing. potatoes, baked carrot, baked parsnip, baked or fried tofu, bread, crispy bread, puffed rice cakes, salads, feta cheese, maybe something else. Yeah. I do I not use ketchup, ketchup to ever. Well, if you're, uh, if. You're Patrick Mahomes, uh, like starting quarterback for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. You're putting that ketchup on a steak. Oh. Disappointed oh. in the lack of Nutella along that answer, but okay. Pretty day by the beach. Oh, what? Prank puzzles? That's a thing now? <laughs> I feel like the company genuinely screwed up their printing one day and were like, screw it, let's just roll with it. What's the worst thing you could possibly wear in a funeral? Hmm. Hmm. Dress as the Grim Reaper, and if you want to go above and beyond, go up to the coffin, pick the body up, and say, Don't worry, I'll be back for one of you. This is a good one. No, it isn't! <laughs> Actually, the best it's one a good would... one if you want to get arrested. <clears throat> the best one would be dressing up as the Grim Reaper and standing in the corner and, like, hope that no one notices you, and then, like, the very moment you hear someone cough, you raise your scythe and you point at them. That's what I would do. I've been stalking this random guy on Reddit for a few months now. Just following his profile and replying to his comments in various subreddits. He replied to most of them and after a while he realized it was the same guy replying to him constantly. At first he did the typical let it. Hey friendo, fancy seeing you here. Seems like we like the same heckin' subreddits. But now he's stopped replying. This means he's finally creeped out by me and might have blocked me. But even if he has blocked me, he'll still see blocked user underneath all of his comments. My goal is to make him have a mental breakdown or force him to create a new Reddit account. If he creates a new account, I have an AI tool where I can paste all of his comments and compare it to the comments on the various subreddits he visits, so I'll be able to track him down again. Jesus! My replies Why? to his comments aren't mean or anything. I usually agree with him on everything. Everything. I just make sure he knows I'm always watching him. <laughs> You're a fucking weirdo, dude. You're a psycho. <laughs> Five mini roundabouts. Location is Swindon, UK. That's a weird way to spell hell. Well done, UK. You managed to turn a roundabout into something difficult. How? Why can't there just be one roundabout? <laughs> Why do you need five? They shall feel the wrath of thousands of tired and sad writers that suffer from creativity block. What the hell is this in relation to? Hey, wanna see my butt? I have a boyfriend. Uh, w wait, what did I say? You said this? Screenshot send. Hey, yo, get your girl. Bro. Oh! <laughs> Oh, you are an evil bastard. Can't believe she fell for that. Damn. Just go ahead and tell people this, man. My brother is freaking done. But up, message from dad. KYS. What? Your brother told me to send it to you. It means kiss yourself or love yourself. Love you, son. Okay. What is sesquipedalophobia? <laughs> sesquipedalophobia. Uncountable. Fear of long words. <laughs> and at this point, I feel like the medical fields is more about torturing people than helping them. Replace my siblings' yep. clear glue with water. It's you. Yep. You're the problem. Oh. It's you. Arf. Drizzle. Are you all alone? <laughs> I've got parents and siblings, lots of rich relatives, friends, and even a model girlfriend. 
I knew oh. a guy who worked in a morgue, and when he was new to the job, his co-workers encouraged him to prank the boss by getting on a slab in one of the drawers to jump scare him when he pulled him out. So he strips off, lies on the slab, and the co-workers cover him up, slide the slab away, and close the door. Thing is, inside the storage, there are no walls between the slabs. So oh. he's lying there in the dark with all the corpses becoming increasingly anxious. After about five minutes, the corpse next to him says, Cold in here, isn't it? And he tried to sit up so fast he nearly knocked <laughs> Man. <his head>. <laughs> <laughs> That is, oh, oh, that is, that is epic, that is an epic turn of, like, oh my I god. I approve, I approve of I this I approve of that too. This is evil that I approve I, of. <laughs> I was about to get annoyed, because so I'm like, I don't want to sit here and have to listen to somebody read a paragraph to me again for some dumb punchline. That was pretty good. That was great. <laughs> it was his boss in the slab next to him. <laughs> That's screwed up, man. Oh, wow. When I was 11, I found out my brother was lactose intolerant, so when he was sleeping, I put a humidifier filled with milk in his room and watched him poo himself while he was sleeping. I don't think that's that, how that works. That, that needs to be a crime. Can we? <laughs> oh my god. In 2004, I won a contest to DJ at my very small hometown's easy listening radio station. I proceeded to play an hour of Evanescence deep cuts and ruined everyone's morning routine. <coughs> oh, wait, come here. Either way, same thing. I love most, though, how you at 2004 look exactly like someone who would have listened to Evanescence on replay. Mm. Satan, the guy who farted and said, do you smell popcorn so that everyone takes a deep breath? Classic. <laughs> They're fighting, so you decide to snitch on them. The power of the older sibling! Yeah! For a while, the infected spiders are able to live on in a zombie-like state enveloped by the fungus. But slowly and surely, the fungus consumes their living tissue and kills them. The only tolerable thing about this murderous <laughs> fungi is that it's harmless to humans. Why, why is there three dots there, though? What, why so are there far. Three dots, guys? Well, almost. Almost? <laughs> Once the spider's body has succumbed to the fungus, its tormented spider's soul is released into the world. Then, when you are sleeping, these ghost spiders, Fulcus Sanctus, rise up and march into your ear canal where they lay their eggs. Ooh. When the zombie spiderlings hatch mm. out, they feast mm. on your brain until they reach adulthood. Then they climb out through your eye sockets and go and search for their next victims. <laughs> Unethical life pro tip. Save business. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't bother me at all. Cards of people you don't <laughs> like. If you ever hit a parked car accidentally, just write sorry on the back and leave it on the windshield. <laughs> Better yet, try putting the business card with sorry on the windshield even if you didn't hit the parked car. They'll spend a good amount of time looking oh. for what is wrong with their car. Oh, man. After giving up, they'll finally flip the business card over and it'll say about your face. Single men in China <laughs> once booked every other seat in a cinema theater to split up couples on Valentine's Day. That's <laughs> just... And they say money doesn't buy happiness. All these mother wow. flippers are freaking useless. Imagine asking someone what time you should be somewhere and they send you this tiny butt analog clock. Okay, I'm gonna start doing that from now on. No. On Monday, cheese steaks will be free to anyone wearing a Kansas City Chiefs jersey to anywhere in the city of Philadelphia that sells them. Pretty cool if you ask me. Can't wait to get mine. You're a burglar, but you only steal things to slightly inconvenience your victims. What are you stealing? One piece from each jigsaw puzzle. Asshole. Or every cork. I am getting my own internet set up today, well, and touch my landlord puzzles. texted this to me. To be clear, you are still responsible for the monthly share $10 internet fee since you are living there and still have access to it even if you have your own modem. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, my man. If you can just show me where I signed agreeing to that. Nowhere? Oh no! I guess you'll have to pay for it yourself even though it's a tax deduction for you anyway. I accidentally mm -hmm. said large at Starbucks and the barista started crying. Oh, I don't do it on accident. I pretend to struggle with it and watch them struggle internally from the interaction, the awkwardness, the way they they internalize everything they want to say. Apparently submitting assignments before the due date is considered late. 
Hello, Professor Red. How are you? I am writing to you because there was a grading mistake from the assignment that was due on February 1st. It shows that you marked off 10 points as a late penalty. However, as you can see on Canvas, I properly submitted the document in a timely manner before the due date at 11.46 p.m. on the 1st of the 31st. Oh, God damn it, America. On 1st, the 30, 31, uh, the, the first month... On the January the 31st, 2023. you fix the grade. It's not, not that, that fucking hard, guys. No. And your dating system. Thank you, Blue. Hi, Blue. I have just now checked and see that the assignment was submitted 13 minutes before the... I sound annoyed day. by that because this is the second time of today I've actually seen someone complain about non-American date. Or like, you know, American date formats. Yeah. I mean, just, it makes sense, though. It's fine. It's like whatever month, the whatever if... Or ist yeah of 2000 whatever you know indeed February 4th 1975 whatever you want you know yeah yeah that's great however no why why no you must understand that it was handed in on a last minute basis which is the reason why you received a late penalty as a result i will not be removing the late penalty deduction and would advise you to submit your work no less than an hour before the due date moving forward that but that's not the rule yeah guarantee you, you could talk to like <clears throat> the vice dean or someone like that and be like yeah he deducted me 10 points for being late, but it wasn't late. It's like, well, the teacher, and it's like, and the teacher will try and explain it, and the teacher will, do, if uh, if you have a decent vice dean, the vice dean will just be like, no, you're counting it for, for full. I mean, either it's later, it's not. I mean, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. it's not, this isn't Lombardi time, damn it. That's cool. If you could just show us where in your grading manual of sorts, where that's an actual thing, uh, that'd be great. We'd love to actually see the evidence. Would have been funny if the dots just didn't change color and everyone thought they were suddenly colorblind. Swapped the keys again. Okay, you can't ask us to find them and oh. then just put the answers there already. This isn't a school assignment. I I'd like to actually try. My boyfriend and I made a list of people we could have it on with if we ever got the chance. He chose Margot Robbie, Charlize Theron, and Scarlett Johansson. I chose my daughter's biology teacher, the barista at Starbucks, and his younger brother. Well, that was a nice relationship. Yeah, I'm you just got broken Robbie. up with. Yeah. Divorced. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Yeah. Wow, this old lady just bought something really expensive with only one dollar bills. They have a team of people counting. When I was like 11, Damn. I was getting bullied by this girl, and my mom let me know she heard her parents were getting divorced, and to tell her that neither of them wanted her, which I did, and it worked, but like... Mom? See, that's the moment yeah. you realize you and your mom would have never been friends in high school. She would have probably been the one bullying you. <laughs> and your first wish is... Triple world hunger. Uh, um, and your second... Double student debt. Now then, uh, what's your third wish going to be? Make mosquitoes explosive when crushed. Jeez! Oh! No! He drove over 20 hours wow. to find this diamond ring someone threw in the water on a TikTok video. Note in the TikTok it says, After 22 years, he cheated. I'm free. And then throwing it into the water. What should we do about that, Satan? Now find the person who threw it. Put it under her pillow with a note saying, You are not free. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Wow. Oh, that's cold. That is... Oh. Calm down, <laughs> Satan. Down there we go. She doesn't really probably deserve that, but that would just be like... I feel like I would have at least pawned it to get some money. So right? you just recreated a horror movie yeah. scene, so that's pretty great. If, like, oh, yeah. Actually pull that imagine somehow. how horrified she'd be to, like, lift up her pillow and see that. You're like... At the same time, like, if she... Uh, like, if he cheated and it was also, like, an abusive relationship, then it's gonna, like, end up reminding her of that. Like, I would feel really bad about yeah. doing that to someone. But Satan. But just the idea of it is just like the you wouldn't know. It's so deep. It's just it's metal. So deviously like, funny. Yeah. One wheelchair at a time. Don't worry, the cement surrounding the garden oh. bed there is really soft. My dad kind of messed up the tortilla. Yes. Tortilla. It's triggered in the comments. Tortilla. Let me feed off your rage. <laughs> Look, at, hey, it's still edible, okay? That's what matters. I don't know My what the problem is. I call them tortillas all the time. Discount. Yeah. <laughs> Love me some quesadillas. 
And some jalapenos on them. Yeah. Wow. I think they fail to realize that the more they do this, the more it just incentivizes people to see a promotion from them and to avoid it like the plague. Yeah. My science teacher I, in middle school. I don't. I can't mental math fast enough. What just happened there? So basically, it's like, oh, the yeah, subtotal is, uh, is like this promotion. You get ten dollars off. It's like uh, delivery fee, and then it's like, it's literally. Uh, my total up to the 50% discount. So yeah, basically, it's almost like back up to $20. Yeah, because they don't discount the delivery fee or taxes and other fees. Well, I'm mm. sure they jacked the price up because, I mean, they've got to cover the cost of the person driving it to you, right? Yeah. Is this a DoorDash order or something? Mm, that's what it looks like. Is that the more and that is what... Oh, no, wait, this is Uber Uber Eats because... Save four ninety five on this order with Uber One. This, the more but that's why I pretty much stopped ordering with those things. And well, I mean, they're gonna charge you basically them. double. I mean, they, like, it's stupid how much they charge on top of like tipping your driver. And stuff. Yeah. Like I, I don't feel bad at all about the tip to the driver. What I hate is the fact that I'm like paying like an extra like ridiculous amount of money on top of that, like just to use the service. And then, like, I could go in and hit, like, pick up and go get it myself with their service and actually get it for, like, what the restaurant charges you for it instead of, like, all their extra fees and shit. Yeah. So I'm just, like, I'm not going to have people bring me food anymore. Sorry, everybody that does that for a job. And I was helping out with tips, but I cannot afford that service. Promotion from them and to avoid it like the plague. My science teacher in middle school always told us about how if he ever got a dog, he would name it, I don't have a dog, and go to dog parks yelling, I don't have a dog, making it look like he was stealing other people's dogs and playing mind tricks on people who asked what his dog's name was. Jesus, I don't have a dog. <laughs> Some people just have no chill in this world. This guy in my school, aka me, put this sticker here. It says push, but the door is only openable from the inside and there you have to push. And so I look in amusement when people try it. The mind in Satan speaks in oh. many languages. I eat twice as much meat, just so one vegan that thinks they're making a difference is making no difference at all. This is Yeah, the only literally it's called sponsoring a vegan. To glue it was like invented by oh, Maddox a number of years ago. <laughs> It's like, for every like, animal you don't eat, I'll eat two. I go two by two plates together and ask my friends to help me split them. Edit, I no longer have any friends. Oh. I have eaten two Bibles in the last week. <laughs> They're just so tasty. I don't think I've ever had a dog that's eaten a Bible, but I have had a dog, like, chew up, uh, chew up, like, a chess piece. That was Asher. He did that, and Kate got mad and was just like, it's like... Why? And thankfully, though, I was able to find her a replacement piece. But still, that sucked. So, yeah. That was found Satan. And as you can see, there's some very, very evil people out there, my dude. It gets it, it gets ugly really fast. Some of those were pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I feel like with the morgue prank, if, like, you just reached over... And just like grab the guy's arm. Oh, that didn't that'd say be, anything. That'd be the piece de resistance. Yeah, yeah they, they poop themselves. Some of those are pretty rough. Where you're sitting there and they have to read, they're reading through the a paragraph, paragraph for like two minutes, and I just my eyes are glazing over. And uh, what even was the what even was the punchline? Live in La Vida Loca. Yeah, mm. that one was bad. I wish they had read that a little faster. Yeah. If they were gonna or if they would have just summarized and just be like. I can't because I couldn't tell what song they were talking about. I think maybe "Live in La Vida Loca," but I don't know. Anyway, though, yeah, this uh, you know, found Satan. Uh, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good it, subreddit. That, that's a good point. Maybe the whole song they were talking about the whole time was "Live in La Vida Loca," but like we a different version of it. And then they did the they would do the encore version that was the actual song to basically let everyone know they weren't crazy. Yeah, but. I feel like that's destroying the point of the evil. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you don't just be evil to people for like the entire song length just to take it back after you just like leave your doubt on everyone's mind. Yeah, I I don't know, man. There's there's a lot to there, there's <sighs> karaoke is weird because it's like you know people are drunk and they're singing along and all that, but at the same time it's like it. 
It's like, is it really worth it to pull it off on a bar full of drunkards? I mean, no, I don't think so. Really. Was any of it worth it? What about that guy that like was using AI to figure out the guy's like keep keyboard patterns so he could keep commenting on his posts oh on his subreddits? Gosh. Like, I mean, that's psychotic. Was that yeah. worth it? I mean, that's freaking psychotic, though. I I don't know. That's that's pretty psychotic behavior. I I. I I don't know what else to add here except for just thank you all very much for tuning in. And if y'all want to see more from MK, y'all know the deal. And if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to uh, leave a like as well. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Micah. Take care, everybody. Peace.